Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We've come together tonight to worship it, worship the Lord, to call on the name of the Lord and, and cry out to Him and because He hears us when we pray. Hallelujah. So let's just welcome in the Lord tonight. Heavenly Father, we just thank you tonight that we can come together to pray, to call on the name of the Lord. We know, God, that your plan, Lord, that you have for us, as you said through Jeremiah, that you know the plans you have for us and their plans to bless us. Lord, you want to give us a hope and a future. So, Lord, those tonight here in this house, those who are watching, may they be encouraged to know that God's got a plan for their lives. God's got a plan for this church. God's got a plan for this city. And God's got a plan for this nation. Hallelujah. So we come tonight rejoicing. We come tonight with the joy of the Lord as our strength to call on you, almighty God, to call on your name and to seek you. And Lord, again, if we lift you up, you said you'd draw us right unto yourself, Lord. So do that tonight as we just begin with worship and calling upon your name tonight, Lord. Move in a mighty way in the midst of your people, we pray. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, let's just worship the Lord. Let's take the time tonight to worship. Amen. We were just talking about how that we've been seeing God moving. So we're going to sing about that, worship about that. And I just uh, was thinking even earlier tonight in our staff meeting is that we were talking about different things God was doing, about how that things are coming to pass right now that I remember there were many months, maybe even years, that I would praise Him through it when I didn't see the change. I didn't even see a possibility of change. And now we're seeing come to pass those things that we were believing for. And so uh, I just want us to sing that this evening. Let's declare this is a move. Amen. We can declare it even if we don't see it because we thought that in the past and now we're seeing that. So let's just declare that. Hallelujah.
when we just worship you. Hallelujah. We listen for your voice, Lord. We need to hear your ways, your thoughts. Give us your
we glorify the name of Jesus and we magnify and lift you up on high, O oh Lord, for you are highly exalted. You are highly exalted. You've been given a name that's above every other name. So we bless the name of Jesus tonight. We glorify the name of the Lord our God tonight. Hallelujah. Be glorified in this sanctuary. Be glorified among your people. Be glorified tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We lift you up. We magnify your name for you're worthy, 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 worthy. You're worthy of all praise, of all glory, of all honor. Hallelujah. We lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to the name of the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. We just come tonight. We come tonight. We declare Psalm 130, verse 5. It says, I wait expectantly. I wait expectantly, trusting God for help, for He has promised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. You've promised. When we call on the name of the Lord, we will be saved. When we call on the name of the Lord, we'll be saved in our household. When we call on the name of the Lord, oh, whosoever will may come. Oh, we come and we call on the name of the Lord for your salvation, for your anointing, for your deliverance, for your healing, for your mighty power to be revealed from the heavenlies tonight. Hallelujah, we call on the name of the Lord. We call on the name of the Lord tonight. We shake off past disappointments. We shake them off. We shake off every past disappointment. Everything that's gone by in the past, we should shake those disappointing days, disappointing thoughts that may even enter our mind. We shake those things off. We shake those things off. We know today in who we have believed. We shake off discouragement. We shake off delays tonight in the name of Jesus. We glorify the name of the Lord. We declare that we expect God. We expect God to move on our behalf. We expect God to move on behalf of this nation, on behalf of this people. Lord God, we declare tonight that we trust you. We put our hope in you. We put our confidence in you. We put our trust in the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 We declare tonight, according to Psalm 42, 9 and 10, we decree our help. You are our help. You are our God. You are our help and you are our God. And we trust in you. We hope in you. We put our hearts in you for you are a great and a mighty God. Oh, Lord, we expect you to act and you give us plenty of reason to praise you. Your word is full of your precious promises for all that you have done, for all that you will do. We look to you and you alone and we give you praise. We give you praise, hallelujah. We glorify the name of the Lord our God tonight and we give you praise, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We decree tonight that we will see the goodness of our God here in the land of the living. Amen. Hallelujah. We make it a decree tonight. We will see the goodness of our God here Hallelujah. in the land of the living. Hallelujah. We declare your word. We decree your word. Isaiah 53 declares that he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. So we declare healing tonight, healing on the house, healing in the house, healing among your children, healing among your people, healing for the nations, healing for the nations, this nation and every other nation. Because of Jesus, we declare healing upon the nations in the name of Jesus, the name above every name. We stand in agreement for healing for spirit, soul, and body. We declare supernatural manifestations that only you can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord, we sang in that song, do what you do, do what you do. Lord, we're waiting, we're waiting, and we're trusting. And we say, Lord, do what you do. 
do what you can do to save this nation, to save this people, to save the people of this house and of our household. Do what you can do, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We know the mighty works of God, the mighty acts of God. Lord, show yourself mighty. Show yourself mighty for all the world to see, for all of the world to see. Do your mighty works. Show forth the mighty works of your hand and of your glory. Hallelujah. Be glorified. Be exalted. Be magnified. Do the works that you can do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are decreeing great unity. All of us in one accord that the very presence of God will fill the atmosphere. Let the presence of God fill the atmosphere, shifting everything to a greater level. Lord, let your glory come down. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed from the heavenlies. Let your power come down and show forth your mighty works. Oh, transform and change the atmosphere. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. We praise you that we feel and know your presence in this church. But Lord, wherever we go, let us take that atmosphere to our home. Let us take that atmosphere to our work. Let us take it into the marketplace that the presence and the glory of God will be revealed for all to see. That we will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Oh, Lord, we declare it tonight and we magnify your name. We say it will happen. The glory of God will be revealed. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. 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 We praise your mighty name. We praise your mighty name. We praise your mighty name. Hallelujah. Now, as I'm closing my portion tonight of prayer, we're going to be praying this week from the Intercessors for America. We can change the narrative. We can change the narrative. You're hearing a narrative from the media. You're hearing a narrative from around the world saying negative things all over. It is just bombarded. But we as the church can change the narrative by declarations, by de declaring the Word of God, by declaring the truth. And so tonight, I'd like to close my portion with this. It says, God calls us blessed. Father, you call us blessed. You call us healed. You call us made whole. We declare there will be no more pandemic, no more pathogens, no more viruses in the name of Jesus. We ask you to stop every evil viral attack. Whatever the enemy has planned, we say it stops here and now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We declare it. No weapon will prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. Father, we have a promise from your word. That promise says no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We declare any weapon of pathogens or viruses that the enemy has planned will not prosper against your people. We stand in agreement that there will be no more deaths from pathogens, viruses, and pandemics in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
God, I do thank you. That line and that song is sticking out of my mind that says, as we seek you, you change what we see and what we seek, Lord. And I thank you for that, and I pray that over the body of Christ. Lord, give them a, a passion to pursue your presence, God, like never before. Lord, I'm seeing in my head a picture of a family that's just sitting in on the couches and comfortable seats in their living room, and everyone's staring at a different screen. No one's really interacting, God. And I see even that that has worked into uh, the believers' homes, Lord, that they're they seem powerless. They seem like they've been so distracted, Lord. And I just pray for a revival that starts in our homes, Lord, that transforms our homes, Lord. You give us authority over our homes, Lord. We have the authority to change the atmosphere. We have the authority to stir up, stir up those things of the Lord, to stir up that desire. I see I see families so busy, Lord, they aren't interacting with one another. They're going to sports and, and hobbies and, and just hanging out with friends, Lord, that aren't leading them down the right path. I pray, God, that you would stir in the hearts of your believers, your children, your sons and daughters to first pursue that healing in their own homes. Any past hurts, that they would be healed and the wounds would be healed, Lord. Generational curses would be broken in the name of Jesus, that you would transform our families, God, to be powerhouses, to be powerhouses where even our, our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren are speaking about the goodness of God. They're sharing the goodness of God, Lord, that you would stir our homes to become those revival houses, Lord, where we rebuild the altars, Lord, in our homes, and we we declare that we will seek you. We will seek your ways, Lord, and we thank you, God, even in, in our own lives here at Family Life, as we pursued you more in prayer and in your presence and worship, Lord, and we've set aside this time to pray your will be done, your kingdom come here in this nation, here in our homes, in our church, in our city, in the world that your kingdom would come and be established, Lord. And we ask that first we establish it in our homes, Lord. Every home of a believer, Lord, that it could be transferred and transformed into a, a powerhouse, Lord. Hallelujah. We just give you the glory, Lord. We, we even ask, continue to ask for the words of, of Joel to come to pass that our sons and daughters will see, see the miracles, that the Spirit would be poured out upon them, that they would dream dreams, that they would see visions, that you would appear to them, Lord, that as we talk about all the things that you've done in our lives, all the prayers that you've answered, as we begin to tell them the stories that they didn't remember because they were so young, that it would stir their faith to believe their hearts a passion to read your word, to be in your presence, to be house, Lord. Transform. We thank you for the transformation we've already seen in our families, Lord, and we continue to call for more. We say, Spirit, fall on our family from the oldest to the youngest, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise up our grandparents to be soul winners again, Lord, to help them to see their purposes. Fill them with a fire that they've never experienced before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's so much more, Lord. Help us not to become complacent or satisfied and just apathetic, God, but that we would not rest until we see these things come to pass, Lord, that we would not rest until we see you say those things that you said, even greater things than you did, that we shall see. Help us not to just throw up our hands and give up on those promises, Lord. Help us to press in, to seek you, to listen, to act upon what you say, Lord, to declare the things that you tell us to say to do the things that you tell us to do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, 
let our homes be the homes where all the neighborhood kids want to spend time, where families want to come because of the peace they experience that they can't explain. Lord, let it open up doors to minister for prayer, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for those parents who are right now not reconciled with their children. Holy Spirit, I've seen you do it time and time again. You give us a strategy. You bring healing. You give us the right words to say. You give us the right things to declare. You show us the secrets of their heart, Lord. And you allow us to pray healing over those things in their lives that we didn't even know about. We just pray for restoration in families, but we pray specifically that the parents would not get frustrated. Lord, I pray that you would give them peace, Lord. Let them know that you knit that child together, Lord. You know everything about them. You hold their times in your hands, Lord. We can trust you. We can trust you with those children, Lord, and that you would show us how to love them and how to demonstrate your love in a way that would break down the calluses, that would melt the hardness of heart. Lord, that we would be faithful to love as you love. Lord, that it would change their life, that it would bring the healing that they need in the name of Jesus. Use us as your vessels to bring that healing and that wholeness. Let us not be distracted by the symptoms of their broken heart, Lord. Let us see beyond that and be their intercession, intercessors for their heart, their healing in the name of Jesus. We know you desire to bring reconciliation and restoration, and we just thank you for that. And we thank you for every little thing we see that leads to that, that shows that you're doing that in Jesus' name.
that we would see ourselves as you see us, Lord, as your ambassadors, as your representatives here on this earth, wherever you've put us for this season, whatever workplace we're in, Lord, whatever family environment that we're in, Lord, we're your hands and feet. You're, we're your mouthpiece, God. Hallelujah. Let us not dim our shine by grumbling and complaining, Lord but that we would be bright lights of your glory, of your joy, of your kindness, Lord. Hallelujah. It says it's the kindness of God that leads people to repentance. Hallelujah. We just thank you that you're demonstrating that to us and you're showing us how to walk in your kindness. And Lord, I just thank you for that reminder about what we heard about on Good Friday, when we talked about the places that you shed your blood, and one of them specifically I've been thinking about a lot this week as I walk the halls of our school. Lord, I, I know that you took those wounds when they drove the nails in your feet, that we could have dominion over every place that our feet touches, that you've given us that, God. You've given us the dominion. You've given us the authority. And we claim that. We want to walk as those ambassadors, those uh, ministers of reconciliation, pleading with the world, please come to know his love. Please know how much he loves you. God, give us a heart for the lost like never before, that it compels us to get out of our comfort box, to get to inconvenience ourselves, to ask, do you need prayer? or to just share the love of Jesus with them, God. I believe even in this season of awakening that you're giving us um, visions, you're giving us words of wisdom for the lost, God, that when there there's a wall, when we first start talking to, to them about you, you show us something that only you would know. And as we share it with them, that wall crumbles. And they come to know that you are a personal loving God who knows every detail of their life. And and you want to know them healed and whole and saved. And God, we just thank you for that. We look for that. We set ourselves ready for that, God. Hallelujah. We tune our ears to Holy Spirit that we would know when we need to stop. And we need to stop in the busyness of our life. And we need to be the hands and feet in the mouthpiece of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us remember that as we walk through our days. Even as we drive through these cities and these byways and these highways. That we would use that time. Not, not being idle with it. But that we would be intentional about praying over our city, God. Praying over our schools. Praying over the seven mountains 
calling forth for those godly leaders in every environment, every situation. Raise them up, Lord. Raise this next generation up where the enemy has tried to totally derail them, totally screw up their identity, totally confuse them, God. You are able to give them a but God moment that turns their life around once and for all. We ask that, Lord. We ask that for this next generation as well, Lord. Hallelujah. We ask these things in Jesus' name.
in that day you will sing. I will praise you, O Lord. You were angry with me, but not anymore. Now you comfort me. See, God has come to save me. I will trust in Him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. With joy, you will drink deeply from the fountain of salvation. In that wonderful day, you will sing, thank the Lord, praise His Name. Tell the nations what He has done. Let them know how mighty He is. Sing to the Lord, for He has done wonderful things. Make known His praise around the world. Let all the people of Jerusalem shout His praise with joy. For great is the Holy One of Israel who lives among you. Lord, I pray that you would raise us up to be a people that would go out and tell all the nations what you have done. For we know, Lord, what you have done. We know of your saving love, of your grace and of your mercy. So Lord, I pray you would give us courage to go out and tell the lost. For Lord, that is what you commanded us to do. And Lord, we wanna be quick to be obedient to your voice. So Lord, it's still within each one of us a desire and a hunger to do what you've asked us to do, both as a church as a whole and as individuals, Lord. May we hear your call and hear your cry and be obedient and say, Lord, send me. And I thank you, Lord, for honouring all those that would go out and speak in your name and let the world know you are their only hope. You are the way, the truth and the life and no one comes to the Father except through you. I thank you, Lord, for your precious love that we know that we need to tell others will never fail. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, right now I loose that anointing we've been singing about. God, I loose that anointing in this house and I loose that anointing, Lord Jesus, into the atmosphere. Lord, I loose that anointing in those who are watching right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, let every burden, Lord, be broken. Let every yoke be destroyed in the name of the Lord. As you said in your word, it will come to pass in that day that their burden shall be lifted and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So Lord, I send forth right now in the name of the Lord, I send forth your healing anointing. I send forth your saving anointing. I send forth your healing anointing in the name of the mighty God that we serve. Hallelujah. You come on, let's stand and worship Him. Let's stand and thank Him tonight that that anointing is released in us in the name of the Lord. Even those in your home, stand where you are, wherever you are. Stand and lift those hands and say, Lord, I receive it tonight. I receive that touch of your anointing upon my life in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I rejoice in you, Lord. I worship you and thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lord. Worthy, worthy is the Lord. Hallelujah. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Awesome is our God. For He is worthy of all glory and honor and praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we just worship you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege we have of coming as the people of God into the house of God. 
Lord, I thank you for those that are able to watch, Lord, that can't be here, but they can watch and they can receive of that, Lord, that you have for them. God, we're believing tonight for an outpouring of your spirit. Oh, we're believing, almighty God, that you're going to open the windows of heaven and pour out your power and your glory. Hallelujah. That's what we desire. That's what we expect, oh Lord, according to our faith. So be it unto us. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, your word, Lord, says we have not because we ask not. Well, tonight we're asking, hallelujah. We're asking for the power of Almighty God to be released in our lives, in our families, in our sons and daughters, that they may prophesy, oh God, upon this city of Spring, Texas, upon this state, oh God, and upon the nation. Loose your glory, loose your power. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we give you praise for it, O oh God. Worthy, 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 Lord. Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Come on, pray it again. Anointing, fall on me. said, he said, the Spirit of the Lord is on me, for he has anointed me. You know what that word in there means to smear? It's talking about the anointing was smeared all over him. I don't know about you, but I want the anointing to be smeared all over my life. From the top of my head to flow down through the soles of my feet, I want that anointing of God to flow in me. Come on, let's sing it again. Let's make it our prayer anointing. Fall Fear all over me, God. Fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. That the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing. Fall on me. fall on me. Come on, give God praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we can say it's been good to be in the house of the Lord. It's been good to be with God's people. Come on, how many? There's a lot of power in this room. Huh? There's a lot of power in this room because one will set to flight a thousand, two will set to flight ten thousand. Oh, come on, with what with the people in this room, those of you watching, we can do some serious damage to the kingdom of hell. Hallelujah. And we can say that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Come, come on, if God be for me, the right translation is if God be for me, who dare be against me? Hallelujah. Because I'm a child of God. I'm a child of the king. Hallelujah. So we rejoice tonight in the Lord. We rejoice in what God's doing in our lives, what God's doing in this church, what God's doing in your life, those of you watching. And uh, we just continue to move forward in the name of the Lord. We always invite you, if you're anywhere near, hopefully you are, you can come and be a part of prayer on Wednesday night. Then we come here on Saturday morning at 8 o'clock to call on the name of the Lord. Again, he said, call on me and I'll answer you. How many know God answers us when we pray? So we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So Lord, thank you tonight. Lord, just be with us. Keep your hand upon us. Bless those watching. We pray in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, amen. Amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.